The approval of uh, Tecolista Mave is something very relevant because uh, this means that uh, we are going to have the possibility of uh, prescribing uh, the first uh, BCMA CD3 by a specific monoclonal antibody to relapse and refractory myeloma patients. Until now, we had uh, Belantamav, BCMA ADC monoclonal antibody approved, as well as uh, Thiltafel and ID cell BCMA CARTIS. But uh, definitely not all patients are going to be eligible to these two modalities. So the introduction of a teclistamab means that definitely more relapsed and refractory myeloma patients will have the opportunity of receiving this bispecific monoclonal antibody that it is being administered in a sub-Q formulation every week with great results because in heavily pretreated myeloma patients, triple class refractory, the overall response rate is 60%, with over 30% of the patients achieving complete response and a median progression free survival of approximately one year with an appropriate or a manageable safety profile. We have to take care about the cytokine release syndrome potential cytopenias and especially infections and we have to try to prescribe the adequate prophylaxis in order to prevent severe infections. But I think that this approval is going to be the starting point again to move with the tecolistamab to earlier lines of therapy and indeed there are already phase three clinical studies combining tecolistamab with anti-CD38 monoclonal antibody daratumumab in relapse and refractory myeloma patients after one to three prior lines of therapy. So the situation and the news about the approval is something excellent, especially for the patients.